Right guys, in today's video, I'm going to be covering my favorite topic, throttle stop. Woohoo! So guys, um, as you know, I've done a lot of videos which show you how to unlock undervolting and reduce temperatures. But for people at 12th gen and 13th gen, they have actually pushed out a microcode called undervolt protection that even in unlock processes does not allow you to undervolt. So um, in cases like that, you'll find that no matter what you do, you're not going to be able to unlock undervolting. And even in certain 11th gen processes, uh, manufacturers have made undervolting unavailable. So it's not locked, it just means it's not even available. So when you don't have undervolting as an option, the only option you have to reduce temperatures and the best option, should I say, not the only option, is to adjust turbo ratio limits. Because turbo ratio limits can really reduce your temperatures nicely. But before I get into that, I have to say this. Guys, if you subscribe to my channel, please just go over to my page and you'll see there's a little notification icon next to you, um, whether or not you subscribe. Just select that and make sure that you've got all notifications switched on so that when I do drop a video, you are notified instantaneously. It will really help me with the algorithm. And then for those of you that are watching for the first time or you're watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, if this video ends up helping you, please consider subscribing. It really will help. And then lastly, before I get to the nitty gritty, for those of you that have turbo ratio limits or undervolting locked and you want to unlock it, in the description of this video, I'll put a link to full CPU optimization guide. Step one and step two is how to unlock undervolting or how to unlock turbo ratio limits. Now that we have all that covered, let's get to the video. So guys, what I want you to do is open up throttle stop and then quite important here is gonna be the FID column, TS bench and FIVR. So what I want you to do is go into FIVR and then obviously if you're on the 12th and 13th gen, this might look a little bit different. It might say P cores and E cores, I'm not 100% certain, but we're gonna be focusing on P cores because P cores is when you're putting a lot of stress on your CPU, those are your performance cores. E cores are for menial tasks, but I'm, getting, I'm digressing it. So, guys, if you're on 12th or 13th gen, you're not going to be able to adjust turbo, uh, uh, adjust undervolting, um, turbo ratio limits are going to be your baby. So, take note of your turbo ratio limits over all cores. So, if you've got eight cores, let's say your, your your turbo ratio limit over eight cores says 45, for instance. What I want you to do is just close this off, open up TS Bench. You can just do a short little test and then start. And then what you'll see, okay, for me, I've got a 10, 200H, so I don't need to adjust turbo ratio limits. My CPU isn't strong enough. But what you'll notice is as soon as you start TS Bench, even though over eight cores, it says that uh, you're, you're going to be running at 4.5 gigahertz. Your FID column, as soon as you put stress on your CPU, is going to drop to, let's say, 39 over all cores. That means, quite simply put, that your CPU is thermal throttling at 3.9 gigahertz. So what you want to do is, now you, if you know that your CPU is throttling at 3.9 gigahertz, just an example again, you want to adjust your FID or you want to adjust your turbo ratio limits to 38 over all cores. So that means that your CPU is max, the maximum uh, hertz that your, or gigahertz that your CPU is running at is 3.8. Because then it's not going to thermal throttle and it's not really going to impact your performance, but it's going to allow you to reduce your temperatures. So let me just give you another example quickly. Oh, wait, wait let me just finish this. So now you want to make it 38 over all cores, so you go back into FIVR and now what you're going to do is you're going to adjust the first one because if you adjust the first one, it adjusts everything after that. So now you're going to set it to 38 over all cores and then just hit apply and then what, from here what you do is just run TS Bench again but you should notice a reduction in temperature immediately. Let's get, let me give you another example but let me just set this back to normal. Okay, this back to normal. Let's say you've got a 10750H, which is a 10th generation i7. So you'll, uh, I think on a 10750H, it's got six cores and it goes up to 50. 
So, uh, once you go into TS Bench with your 6 core processor, with your FID, which starts at 50, as soon as you start TS Bench, let's say it drops to uh, 41 point whatever FID immediately and it starts reducing from there. Same as before, that means your CPU is thermal throttling at 4.1 gigahertz. So if, you th uh, if your CPU is thermal throttling at 4.1 gigahertz, that means if you set your turbo ratio limbs to 40 over all cores, it's below that 4.1 gigahertz number. And so you're setting it slightly below the thermal throttling rate. That means that A, your CPU is not going to throttle and B, your temperatures are going to come down. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go into FRVR and then you're just going to adjust it to 40. Same thing, if you got a, let's say you've got a 10300H, um, oh, 10300H is a quad core, but um, other than mine, the clocks are much higher. So it's, I think it's going to be 45 over all cores. So then once you go out of here and you go to TS Bench, even though it says 45 over here, start, as soon as you start TS Bench, it drops to 39 instantaneously. That means you're throttling at 3.9 gigahertz. So then what you want to do is you want to go into FIVR and set it to 38 over all cores and so forth. So guys, if you've got a, if you've got a stronger 12, uh, a 12 generation CPU, you'll probably find that your uh, turbo ratio limits are in the 50s or the late 40s or the 50s. But as soon as you start TS Bench, you might notice that your FID is dropping to, let's say, 37. That means you're thermal throttling at 3.7 gigahertz. Same as before, what you want to do is then set your turbo ratio limits to 37 over all cores or 36 over all cores because you're throttling at 3.7 gigahertz. So now you want to put your turbo ratio limits at 36. You want to put it at 36 because then it prevents you from thermal throttling, but it's also giving you the highest clocks before you thermal throttle. So anyways, I hope that has, um, I hope that has described exactly how to go about the, uh, turbo ratio limits. Turbo ratio limits are a fantastic way of dropping your temperatures in your laptop. If you don't have undervolting available, turbo ratio limits, if you use them right in conjunction with TS Bench and the FID column, you can really reduce your temperatures nicely. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video be sure to smash that like button and as mentioned earlier if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet now is the time to do so have a fantastic day it's people like you cheers